Hi guys, Becca C. Smith here, and today I'm going to show you how to anchor images in InDesign for EPUB. I'm also going to be doing a tutorial on chapter headings with images as well and anchoring, but this tutorial is just for images inside of the text of the book itself. It's actually very simple, which is frustrating because it took me so long to figure out <laughs> because for some reason, whenever I would export the EPUB, all the images would either be at the end of the chapter or really tiny. And let me start by saying, I am by no means an expert. I have learned everything from trial and error and reading a lot of boards. It's been difficult for me to find YouTube tutorials on this specific topic. So I hope it helps for, for all of you that have had the same difficulty I have had. Okay, so here's, I have the chapter. I don't have a chapter heading on here because I'm going to be doing the tutorial later. But here is the book. We've got a chapter up. And let's say we want to do, let's do a full-size image first. So let's say we want to do a full-size image, like a map, on page 3. So what we want to do is we want to make page 3 blank. So we go to Layout, Pages, Insert Pages. And then we are going to say, insert a page after page two. Okay, and now we have a beautiful blank page. Then we're just gonna place the image. All this is very easy for print. This is, this is just all about the EPUB export. <laughs> okay, so take our map, put it in the corner. The book sizing that I have is, is five and a half by eight and a half. That's the size that I like to do for my books. So this image that I'm putting in here is 300 DPI, five and a half by eight and a half. When I place it here, it's gonna be huge and then we're just gonna have to shrink it. Here we go, we place it. It's gigantic. If you want to get a better, a better view, you just command minus until you can see it. See, it's much easier. And then you're going to hit Command Shift to keep all the to keep everything in proportion. Okay, and then we're going to zoom in to make sure everything looks good, which is Command Plus. Yep, everything looks good. Okay, see this little blue dot right here? We're going to drag it down to page two. I like to put it at the end of a paragraph because essentially see how it's anchored now it's going to be anchored to this spot so it's not going to be exactly at the end of page two it is roughly where you would want it on page two of your epub version because the thing about epubs is they're what's called reflowable so that you know when you're on your kindle you can make the text as big or as small as you want and so the reason why images and pictures and things get kind of messed up is because in the export, it doesn't really know what to do with it. So it usually that's why it usually ends up at the end of the chapter. So by anchoring it, you're telling the program where you want the image to be. If you have a map and you want it to be on page three, it will look nicer if you just do it at the end of a paragraph. Now we're going to export. That's it, by the way. That's, that's, that's how you anchor. So very simple. But now the settings of the export are very important. Go to export, map, desktop, it has to be reflowable. You do not want it to be fixed. First of all, most places like Amazon and Barnes and Noble will not take a fixed EPUB because it means that you can't make things bigger. Yes, you can put your pictures exactly where you want them, but no one can see them, they're so tiny, and you can't make the text bigger or smaller, so it's just, they don't even accept it. So it has to be reflowable, save, and then here it has to be EPUB 3.0. For some reason, 2.0.1. In my experience, oh, still no matter how many settings I do, it always puts the freaking pictures at the end of the chapter. So 3.0, and then you go to object, and you wanna preserve the appearance from layout, so that's for your graphic or media objects, because you want it to look basically exactly what we did, anchor it to that spot. And then we want it to be relative to text flows. So we want it to flow with the text. We don't want it to be fixed. Fixed will make it smaller again. I do, it's just, yeah, you want it to flow with the text. That way it won't shrink it. You'll have a good size and it'll be good. And then I always align center. 
Um, but you can mess with this, see what it looks like, especially depending on what picture you have, but align center is your safest bet. And then you hit OK. And now let's look at it on the Kindle. We're going to go to page three, and there's the map. Yay! Exactly where we anchored it, and it's not tiny, teeny, tiny. Voila! Now for images within your text. Okay, so you want to be on the arrow key so that you can see these four buttons. They're pretty self-explanatory. This is a no text wrap. This is a wrap around a bounding box, which is better for square or rectangular pictures. This is wrap around object shape. So that's if you have more of a, an actual shape that you want to put in there. Um, and this one is just straight up between the lines, which honestly with an EPUB is going to end up what's happening no matter what button you pick. If someone knows how to do wrap text where it'll actually wrap around the text for an EPUB, please let me know in the comments. I have not been able to figure it out, but at least I can tell you how to put the image exactly where you want it in terms of text. So let's say you need another one of those map pictures right here after this, this line. And I'm going to place the map and I'm going to put it right there. And it's big again, so we're going to command minus until it's small and then we're going to command shift until let's say we wanted that size okay so now we're in here now that the image is in here where you want it you can that's where you can play with these four boxes so right now this is the one with no text wrap so it's just a picture on top of the <laughs> thing so if you want text to surround it you can do that um, it really works the same for the object because it's an object. This is what it's going to look like in your EPUB. So if you're happy with that, you can kind of tweak it, make sure it looks the way you like. This is how it's going to look in the EPUB. But if you are doing print and EPUB and you want it to wrap around the picture in the print version, then you should use this and you can move it around until it's where, you know, where you like it. But I like it like this because I know that's where how it's going to look. So now I'm going to anchor it. So again, we take this blue box, we drag it right after that line. And now it's a little anchor. We're anchored. And then we're going to do the same. We're going to export. We're going to call this mini anchor. <laughs> Reflowable. 3.0 object preserve appearance relative to text flow and okay okay let's look at this on the kindle now we are in the second export and there is the map in between same size as we had it and right in after that line i'll never be in your favor and there it is yay and that is it. That is how you anchor an image in InDesign for an EPUB. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.